All right, so a while back, it's actually been a little while, uh, we did a trailer reaction to Welcome to Mercy. It looked intriguing, I think, is the best yeah. description. Um, sort of had the, you know, exorcism vibe thing going on. So we finally saw it. Let's check it out. So this is a spoiler filled review of Welcome to Mercy. And if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Go. Alright, you're here. So, just to make sure we're all on the same page, a uh, woman and her young daughter go to visit the woman's mother, um, and Latvia. Latvia, correct, yes, and uh, gets a, she busts out with a stigmata on the feet, no less, which is very cool. Uh, so, of course, the local yokel priest has to drag her off to an island, and hilarity ensues. Alright, it is likes time, so, Marcia, what do you got? Hmm. I like think about this. I like the way they portrayed the, you know, exorcisms when it jumped from person to person. Like as they were going through the exorcism, the way they would convulse their body and the way. Well, one generally convulses during an exorcism. I thought it was kind of cool. Coming out. Yeah, that was pretty kind. Of okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Well, actually, what you immediately went to was the main thing. Um, that I absolutely loved about this movie. It was a nice, new, interesting take on the uh, exorcism concept, which of course has yeah. been done to death. This, you know, they took the idea that a demon came in and basically um, a mother and father decided to sort of share the responsibility of the possession to keep it away from the daughter. And they don't really go into detail about how that happens. You know, the priest kind of does a laying a hand thing. Yeah. Irrelevant. That's not the important part. The important part in it is a little bit of a different take. Adds a nice spin on it, so I particularly like that. I suspect you might have also liked the setting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Very Eastern <laughs> European, very Romania-like. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. It was a little hard to pinpoint the time period on this one because, but that I guess that makes sense being in Latvia because they they had a rotary phone mm -hmm. and they had like cars, and so it was, it was kind of tough. But yeah, I did did thoroughly enjoy that, and I thoroughly enjoyed the fact that it was not a cookie cutter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, you had you know uh, a lot of stuff going on with the family. Then she gets dragged off to the convent. I was a little concerned it was going to kind of delve into just sort of your normal, you know, nun convent type thing. Right. But then we're back at the village. So it was all very, very well done. Um, I liked the twist mm. of how that nun that was her supposedly friend was yeah. actually the demon. The demon. Oh. Yeah. Well, was, you know, the red eyes. Yeah. And we're not red hair. Red hair. Red hair people. Yay. Blah, blah. Mm. Ah. But no, that was also very, very good and very well done. Didn't see it coming, no. right? It was a nice surprise. And yeah, so just completely, wonderfully, very well done throughout. All right, just dislikes time. So you got anything? I didn't like the acting from the main character. What? It was like... No way. So drab. Well, you know. I don't know. Like she was... Uh, she was not having a good day. She got dragged into a convent. I would be like kind of... Kicking and screaming, like, why am I here? Let me talk to my daughter. Blah blah blah. Well, but she wasn't. She kind of was like, hey, you no, gotta, she just you gotta went go. With it. No. You gotta go. You gotta go. You got a stigmata. You know, you, she just busted out a stigmata. She was a little freaked out. Okay. I don't. I didn't like her acting. All right. Okay, and that's fair. I mean, you know, I I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, yeah, in fact, I really didn't have a problem with much. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it was a big gore fest or anything like that. It I wasn't. It was a little bit disorganized. Disorganized? Yeah, How so? How so? I don't know. Mean? Like, as I was watching that, I was just trying to follow along, and then, like, things kept popping up. I'm like, wait, okay. Okay, so to be sort of fair, um, it was not a, you know, sort of a linear thing. They jumped around a little bit. Yeah. You know, and so I, I get that. But I, I didn't have a problem with that. You know, you certainly did. Um, yeah, I actually really didn't have a problem with anything. It was all, you know, top shelf. Um, extremely well done. Very, very creative enter, as I said, in the likes. And, uh, but it wasn't the best. <laughs> it wasn't the best because it didn't have a bunch of gore. Oh, that is true. There you go. I need my gore. She does. All right, it is pinhead time. This should be very interesting. Go ahead, Marcia, serve it up. I think I'm going to do three pinheads. <gasps> three? Yeah. Middle of the road. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, yeah. 
So, um, and that's fair. I mean, I, I, I said with you, it wasn't like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever, but it was very refreshing chain. Very well done. I liked it so, so much. And so I, myself, I'm going to give it four. I mean, pinheads. it's no Hellraiser. No, but what is? <laughs> Nothing. Hellraiser is six pinheads. Hellraiser is pinhead. Now, regardless, my four and your three is going to be easy. This is going to be a three and one half pinhead movie. All right, so what did you guys think? Hopefully you've seen it, and so you've got some opinion. Let us know in the comments section below. While you're here, do us a favor, do us a solid. Like the video and subscribe to the channel.